I'm Jane and this is Richard and we're from Chelsea Karate Club. Today we're going to take you through a short beginner's lesson. But first of all, make sure that your area is safe. If you're, um, you can train barefooted like we are or you can wear trainers and make sure you have something that you can get a drink. If you do have an injury or you have a medical condition, please make sure that you adapt the exercise that we do and make sure that you work within your capability. Um, I wanted to say a little bit about karate. Karate is a form of self-defense and what you do is you use your body, your arms and your legs to block, strike and counter an opponent. So the first thing that we're going to do is karate finish, uh, starts and finishes with um, courtesy and respect. So we do a bow. So you're going to start to learn your Japanese words now. So to bow, I would announce Ray, and you would put your feet together, your hands by your side, and when I say Ray, you would bow forward, and you would say us, us, which is a mark of respect, and also the instructors say it at the same time, so it's a respect between yourself and the student. So, feet together, hands by the side, and bow, Ray, us. us. Very good. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a quick warm up. If you need to be seated, then Sachi Jane is going to show you some of these exercises that we do from a seated position. So follow along and within your capability. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to jog, we're going to march. Then we're going to do star jumps or step outs. And we're going to jog again, or march. Just to get the heart rate up a little bit. And then we'll stop, and then we're going to do heads forward and back slowly. So it, particularly with neck, you need to do a slow exercise here. And then to the side, trying to almost get my ear towards my shoulder. And then I'm going to twist. Now I'm going to do some shoulder rolls, so I'm moving them in one direction, and then forward. And then make sure you've got some space, and big circles, and over. Again, if you've got an injury, you might only want to do one side. Um, but if you're feeling fine, okay, you can just do that very lightly. Good. And then we're going to stretch the side. So we're going to stretch over. I'm going to try and reach right over to the other side and almost look where my hands go in as if I'm trying to touch the other wall. And the other side. Good. Now we're going to bend forward. I'm going to use my hands for support as I bend forward. If you're quite flexible, you may even be able to touch the floor, but you don't need to worry about that at this stage. Just try and just get a nice light stretch. If it starts to pull and you just come out of that straight away. And then we're going to do a lunge. Okay? So just push one knee in front of you and bend it. Try and keep the other leg straight. And then we're going to switch to the other side. That's good. If you wanted to do um, a, a deeper stretch, almost like a standing sort of side splits, and again, you can just go down the front of your leg. Do all these movements slow at this point in time. And just use your hands to support you. That's good. Trying to get the body to the and the chest to meet. Good. And then we're just going to do some light swings. So you put one foot in front of the other. And we're just going to swing the leg back. And then make sure you land. Comfortable to go again. And forward. We do that three more times. Just nice and light. It's not a kick at the stage, it's just an exercise to get you warmed up. And then do the other leg. I'll show you from this angle. Try and keep my head up, posture, and just swing the leg back and forwards. And I normally do that about five times. Very good. So, that's the warm-up. I'm going to bow. And I'm going to swap places with Sensei Jane, who's going to show you how to do a punch. The most important thing you can remember about punching is to make the correct fist. So hands up, fingers wide, 
Bring them together like a sharp knife and then clench your first knuckles, clench your second knuckles and then touch your thumb on your middle finger. So just let's do that again. Wide hands, fingers together, nice and sharp. Clench your first knuckles, second knuckles, thumb on the middle finger. And then we're going to take both hands back to the side and we're going to tuck our elbows back. We're going to punch, so we're going to breathe in. We're going to keep our elbows by our side. We're going to breathe out, push our hands out and twist. And then to bring them back, we're going to turn them. We're going to pull them back, keeping our elbows here and tuck them round. So turn them round to face the ceiling. Breathe in, push out and then tense your muscles. You want to tense your stomach, tense your legs, tense your backside, make sure everything's strong. And then turn and pull back. And shoulders back. The reason why we do it differently on the way back is if we took our arm back, our elbow would go out and we want our elbow to come in close to our body. So let's run both of those two together. So one hand out, one hand back. And we're going to breathe in. Shoulders down, head up. And switch. And tense all the muscles at the end. Breathe in. And out. And tight. Breathe in. And out. And breathe in. And out. And you can see this is easy to do on the chair, but make sure your posture is correct. Don't slump into the seat. So sit up. Okay, and a little bit faster. Ready? One. Try and get them to finish at the same time. Try not to go one, two. Try and get them both at the same time. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, your muscles should be getting warm now. When you're punching, don't let this hip move and don't let your shoulders move. While you're learning your basic techniques, keep everything strong. Very good posture, shoulders down. And we're going to do that a little bit faster now. We're punching to chew down, so this is to the stomach area. So about half speed. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what we're going to do now on the tenth one, we're going to ki eye. We're going to shout. And you shout from your stomach, don't just shout from your mouth. So tense your stomach and then let the air and the sound come out like this. Ten. <coughs> Good. Now we're going to do that fast. Very strong, very fast. Go as fast as you can. If you can only do it slow. That's absolutely fine. Don't jolt your elbows. Don't let your elbows come out first and then the fist. You want the elbow behind the fist all the way through the technique. Okay, nice and strong, nice and sharp, as fast as you can. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ki -ai ten. Okay. Good. Now we're going to go to the face. This is chew down. This is joe down. So now we're going to go to the face nice and slow. Ready, breathe in, one, catch your breath back now, two, three, relax, and then tense all of your muscles, relax, tense all of your muscles at the end, and again, one more, now we're going to go about half speed, so shoulders down at the end of the technique, don't raise your shoulders up when you punch into the face, and punch right in front of your own face. Ready, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ki -ai ten. Now we're going to do it really fast, so very relaxed at the start of the technique, tense at the end of the technique. You should be getting a bit of breathlessness now, I mean I'm an asthmatic, so really important to get your oxygen levels up. Ready? So 10 on the count. As fast and as sharp as you can. Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Good. Yummy. And now we're just going to demonstrate to you the first block that we're yes. going to learn. Thank you. So the first block that we learn is a downward block and you're protecting the groin. Um, we've introduced some Japanese words, so this block in Japanese is known as Gidambarai. So, 
We're built up on using the fist, so remember you need to form a fist. And then take one hand to the opposite ear and the other arm straight down. Now you're going to use this arm as a guide for the moves as we step through as you try to learn the technique. So you take this arm down, and if you notice, I haven't twisted the wrist at this point in time, it's still facing me. Then I take it to the wrist, and at that point, I start to pull the other arm back and take it to my waist, and I twist over. I twist those together. Let's look at that, so we're changing, and to the other ear, and then travel down, down, and then make the two arms move together, and twist. And I'm actually using my hip a little bit now. I know I'm in a standing position. I'm trying to use my hip and twist because I'm blocking with this part of the hand. And change over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's use the breathing now. So breathe in. One, two, and focus. Squeeze the muscles nice and tight so as you tense. Relax. One, two, three. Let's try this one count now. We're going to drive this through. So do your best to keep up with me, okay? And just try to move these hands opposite and down. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, a little bit faster. Seven, eight, nine, and I'm going to do a ki -ai now. Ki -ai. ten. Good. Okay, yeah, mate. Now I need to get the legs on the block because not everything is done from standing. Obviously, if you're in a seated position, you're going to work out how you can use your hips and your upper half as much as you can. Move a little bit onto the chair, but make sure your feet are flat on the floor and make sure your chair isn't going to lose balance. So, with that lunge that I showed you when we were exercising, we're going to put our feet together and we're going to bend our knees if we can. We'll try and keep our head over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. So good posture, good balance. Then I step out with the leg. Two. And I haven't actually put the foot down because I want, I want to make a longer stance. And then I push into the lunge. Okay. So let's try that once more. We'll try to be on the other side. So bend your knees. Push the foot out. And then try and straighten that back leg. So this back leg straightening. One, bend the knees, put out two, and then push in, straighten that back leg. And let's just try that. Those steps, we're gonna go one, two, three. Good, and change. One, two, three, and change. Have a couple of goes, just doing it one count. So keep your head up, chest up, and one. Good. And two. So that's good. What I've got to do now is I've got to glue the hands of the block to the legs. And the belt denotes how we use our hips, how we glue the top half with the bottom half. So we're going to make sure that we're using our hips so we're trying to maximise the power and strength of our own body. So, feet together. And the leg that you're going to put out, that hand on that side is going to go to your ear on the other side. So opposite hand. And then as you put that leg forward, you've got these hands in this position that you had when you were standing up. And then as you push out, travel the hand and it finishes just above the knee. Good. And back. Let's try the other side. Both feet together and out. And down. Good. And this is the downward block. Let's try just lightly with me. Work with me. One. Good. Change. Two. Good. Three. That's good. Four. And a little bit of power if you can. Five. And back, and six. Good. And then, yame. So that's the downward block. 
So I'm going to pass back to Sensi Jane, who's going to do the stepping punch. Okay. So we're going to try the same thing from Gidamburai that we've just done, and we're going to do a stepping punch. So when we start with our Gidamburai, we're going to go forward with our left leg, and we're going to step forward and block. So my hips are 45 degrees this way. Okay, so just watch once more. If you can't move your legs or you've got problems with your knees, don't worry, just do the hands. Downward block. And then we're going to do a stepping punch. So from here, I'm going to move my back leg, feet together. I'm going to take my foot halfway out, as Richard showed you a moment ago, and then I'm going to punch. If I'm punching with my right hand, I want to push my left fist forward. So because we all haven't got masses of room at this time, so we're going to pull our hand, foot back to here, and we're going to step forward with the other hand, the other leg. And then we're going to come back to here, and we're going to punch. And come back, and punch. So you, it's like doing a lunge at the same time. And back, and punch. And back, and punch and back, and punch. Good, yummy. So let's try and do that a little bit faster, shall we? So if I move over here so you can see Richard as well, <clears throat> and we're gonna step forward with our left leg, and we're gonna downward block, get down right with our left hand. And then we're gonna switch legs. So you should be able to do this in a meter square area quite easily, even in your hallway, on the landing, anywhere. Bring this foot back to here and punch with the other hand. One, switch, two, three. We're getting a bit faster, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you're breathing, eight, nine, kya, ten. <coughs> Yay, really good. Now we're gonna go into another block. When we punched to the stomach before, you could have used Gedambarai on that or for a kick. If somebody's punching you to the face, you would use Agiyuki. Let me just come forward a little bit and show you. So with rising block, put one hand up. Cross your hands under your chin. Don't put it in front of you, under your chin. And then we're going to drive this hand that's on the outside up above your forehead and this other hand's coming to your waist and your hips are going to push forward two so that doesn't want to be over here because the punch is coming here it needs to be just above your head square up and put your hands up cross under your chin and block two one two three breathe out one two three and this hand's coming back to your waist just like you did with the punches and my hips are moving and my chest is moving and my legs are strong let's start that from your again ready arm up one and block all the way under make sure you're doing like an x-factor move here and block two arm up one block two one two one two one two one, two, try and be a bit faster. And again, block, block. See how my chest is moving, block. Block, block, block. And one more key out, block. Excellent. Now, shall we do that with a step? Okay, so from Gadambarai, we're gonna do a downward block here from our yoi position, downward block. And we're gonna do this from a stepping position, so bring this foot back and we're going to block. Ready? One, two, three, four, breathe, five, six, seven, eight, nine, kia ten. Very good, yummy. And now, and so Richard and I are going to uh, switch again, and he's Push. going to show you how to do a kick. So, 
We've shown you some blocks, we've shown you striking with the, the punches. Now we're going to do some kicks. So there's an element of balance that's involved with this, but you'll also see that as I'm doing these exercises, that Sensi Jane is also doing from a seated position. So, um, you may find at the start that you've got to work a little bit on your balance. The core things about balance is you need your head nice and upright, and you want your shoulders back, so you're standing as tall as you can, even if you're, when you're seated, you're standing as tall in the, in, the, in the upper half as you can, and shoulders, and then over the hips. So you don't want this sort of posture where staggered, staggered, staggered. So, we're going to bend And you can grab knees. something to balance here. Yeah, so may maybe here I would prefer to have a wall or something or that chair. I can hold on to. Okay? Or you can use the chair. So I want you to bring your knee up as high as you can. Okay? Alright, I can go higher, but I want you just to bring it to a comfortable height for you. And this is just practicing balance. And down. Change legs. A bit harder. You've got to use, engage your core, and down, up, and down, up, and down. So you build those muscles as you do so. So, that's the first step, is to bring the knee up, one, and then we're going to push out, and I'm going to pull the ball to my foot, my toes back to, sorry, so I hit with the ball of my foot, and point the foot. Pull back, and down. Let's try that again. So it's like you're on tiptoes here. And you, you strike with that part of the foot. So, bend the knees, knee up one. Let's just go for a low kick. Two, pull back and down. Knee up one, push out and back and down. Try and keep your posture. One, two, three, back. So there's a recovery. Knee up. Kick out, recover, down. Knee up, kick out, recover, down. So the kick is a snap kick. So as you progress, we're going to bring our knee up and we're going to snap out, just lightly, and down. Knee up, snap out, and down. Knee up, snap out, and down. So that's a progression, lifting your knee up, then doing step one, two, three. Now we're going to try and do the kick from a standing position. So when we teach this, we try to think about how do we stop using the upper half. So we imagine that we've got two buckets of water filled right to the rim. So we put our hands up, that keeps our shoulders down. We lift up, kick, and down. And you're going to keep changing legs. And let's have a go and see if we can do 10 kicks to my count. Ready? One, good. Two, three, four, five, that's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're going to ki on the tenth one. Ready? ki -ai. Good. Let's put those buckets of water down. Don't want them going everywhere. So, from here, we're going to do it as if it's a step in. So you go into a lunge, and you do the lunge, you step in, and you're going to try and kick. Just make sure you've got space, because if not, you can just carry on from here. But if, you, if you've got space, that you try and get... See, I've got to work out where space is. I want to make sure that I'm safe. So, head up, and then I'm just going to kick, and step forward. One. And look, I'm switching legs. You, if you've got space when you're practicing, maybe outside in the garden, you can do it. Do just keep stepping forward. But I'm going to keep switching my legs. So work with me. One. Switch legs. Two. Three. Maybe I'll stand and show everybody how to do it with the four. chair as well. Yeah. You might need to build that confidence up where you still want to hold on to something until you build that coordination, that balance. Let's, let's try five together then. If you do the same leg, ready. One, change. Two, change. Three, change. Four, change. Ki five. Good. Okay, so yeah, mate.
just relax a second. Um, what we're going to do, we have a little drink and then we're going to do some blitz exercises. So grab a water if you've got one. If you don't need a drink, it's fine. Don't drink loads and loads down. Just, just a sip. Just a sip. That's great. So, what I want to do now is do a big recap on what we've done. So, if you remember, and you can work, work through this with me. So, we make our fist nice and strong. Pull one hand to the waist, the other hand out. And we're going to do punches. So, just standing up punches. Ready, to my count. One, two, three. If you're less comfortable, do full speed, just nice and light work on the technique. Four, five, six, seven, and ki -ay -ay. Good, and yame. Now we're going to do the downward block, stepping forward. So take the hand across and step through. Same hand, same leg. And now you're going to do a stepping punch. So from here, step through. I'm going to keep switching legs because I want to make sure that people can do this within a, uh, a space safely. So switch legs, one. So let's keep going with me, keep changing legs, and the punch and the leg are on the same side. Two, three, four, ki I five. Good, yeah me? And then you remember we did rising block. So you can do the downward block, and then we're going to do a big X. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. <laughs> Extra ki -ay there from Jane. Let's do a ki -ay now on eight together. Ki -ay. eight. <laughs> Good. I was counting. That's all right. <laughs> you can ki -ay whenever you want. If that gives you a bit of motivation, that's great. So let's do the kicks. One leg forward. And we're going to kick. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, ki -ay seven. <coughs> and a big one. ki -ay eight. <coughs> Good. Okay, so that's what we've covered today. We're out, we're out of breath, so hopefully you've kind of sort of built yourself up a bit. And, and you've learned some new skills and technique. What we're going to do now is we're going to do a cool down. So let's just stretch into our lunge. Now you can breathe in through the nose and the mouth. Go the other way just to regulate your breathing. Let's lean forward. Let's just, you need to hold your leg for support. Just do that, rock side to side. I like to draw a straight line. Even if I can't reach, just draw a straight line just nice. Okay. And just shake. Nice and relaxed. So, the last thing that we do in karate, because we've been uh, working out and we've been trying to do blocks and strikes, we need to calm ourselves down for um, ready to go back into the normal world. So although you're at home, you need to calm yourself down. So we're going to do moxo. So, Jamie's going to do this from a seated position. If you can, you can either sit down, sit, sit down or you can stand up, but we do this kneel. So if your knees are good, kneel down, I do left leg, right leg, and I put my feet flat. And then I'm going to just breathe in, close my eyes, breathe in through the nose, and out slowly through the mouth. Let's do once more. And out. In and out slowly. And then yame, open your eyes. So let's stand up if you can, or if you're seated, stay where you are, that's fine. So feet together, you're gonna bow, right? Us. Us. To each other. Us. So congratulations, well done everyone for taking part. We hope that you've learned some new skills and you're fired up to do some more karate going forward. We want you to like the page and we want you to subscribe to the channel. Which is Keep Essex Active. Okay, we'll, well see done, you soon. Everybody. Well okay. done. Well done.